Today, we are gonna show you how we built the world's first Pearl Play button. You'll never guess which famous YouTuber got this one-of-a-kind Pearl Play button. We mix up some Ecopoxy Flowcast since the entire play button will be made from epoxy. Then we add our Pearl Pigment. We use Bieber Dust pigments for epoxy pours like this. Now that the resin and pigments are thoroughly mixed, it's time to pour. The Ecopoxy Flowcast is designed to be poured up to 1.75 inches deep. After the epoxy cures, it's time to remove it from the mold. We use HDPE molds because the cured epoxy doesn't stick to it. Next up, we are trimming the epoxy to its rough finish size on the table saw. Then we flatten the block with our planer. We printed out an official size play button so we could trace the profile onto our epoxy block for shaping. We used a combination of jigsaw and belt sander to shape the block. Once we were happy with the overall shape, we sent it over to the laser to get engraved. We engrave about 1 8 of an inch deep so that we could pour epoxy into it. Next up, we mix some epoxy and red pigment for the logo and then some black pigment for the letters. After we pour, we use a popsicle stick to make sure all the voids in the letters are filled with epoxy and there's no air bubbles. After we sanded the block and added a round over, it's time to polish. The polishing process really brings some clarity to the epoxy. We used a car polish to buff the epoxy on this piece. Who should we make one for next? Let us know in the comments and we will pick someone at random and surprise them with their own custom pearl play button. We've got lots of content in the works, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and let us know what you thought of this video in the comments.